as computer systems throughout the world shut down, unable to cope. According to some, the problem is a serious one. I think people don't understand that at the end of the 20th century, computers and computer-related systems are everywhere in our lives, and our lives are very largely ordered by computing systems. Therefore, if those systems go wrong, all of those aspects of our lives could be damaged. The trouble is, the scale of the problem can't be known until we get there. The turn of the century could affect anything from traffic lights to household equipment with microchips in it and international telephones to the grounding of aircraft, the collapse of banking systems and the closure of hospitals. The so-called Millennium Bomb is a legacy of the early days of the computer industry, when years were stored as two rather than four digits. It means that some computers won't be able to distinguish between 1900 and 2000, as both years are stored as double noughts. It's this which could cause computers to freeze, crash or collapse. With a major motorway, three mainline railways and an international airport within their area, Bedfordshire police have already cancelled all police leave for New Year 1999, even though they can't be absolutely sure what might happen. What we have done, though, is to look at the possible impact on us. And if some systems do fail, for example, if the stories about traffic lights failing were true, if the stories about signalling problems on railway systems, motorways, airports were true, there would be a significant impact on us. So we're trying to look at that.